I'm moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over Yeah, let's go. Okay, fellas, so we prolonged the different exercises for shoulder muscles. And now I will show you the basic one uh, with a bar. So we'll use a bar. So let's say you don't have any dumbbells, but you have a bar. And basically, principles, it's quite similar. So everything you do, lifting, pushing, everything works in the shoulder muscles. So, same with done with the dumbbells you can do with the bar. So take the small variants and after it seems too easy, you can have more and more and more. So we do more pumping, which means we need to make 10 to 12 times. So if people work, make working time for our muscles about one minute. So if it's too easy, you can more weights like 8, 5, 10 kilo, depending how strong you are. So you're able to do 10 or 12 times. So it's been like 11, 12, it's like 11, and 12, you've done it. So it shouldn't be too easy. So it's how it works. And from training to training, for sure, you can do more and more. So we do front lift. The same with pull, pick up, and slowly pull down. So one mistake can be done. We can put more weight in our chest when we go in the yeah. So our chest will steal the weight. So basically, you can do it with any bike in the little bar, doesn't matter. Because you put your cell in the back, that's really cheap. Because your chest is still part of weight. So in this case, it's a really good solution. Just put your head and neck forward. And try to be as straight as possible. So I send like a lifter do. You just put it in the back. While you move your head forward. It will feel a bit different when you move your head forward. So when you walk with your biceps, so this way, it's like your shoulder walks just a little bit. So if you do opposite side, the shoulder works a little bit more, but not properly. So if you finish your shoulders already, it's tight, you can do your arms like triceps or biceps, and you can do some exercises work on your shoulders a little bit. For some extra pump. Lift me from the back side, from the neck. Uh, I do it, it works well for me, but still I don't recommend it. You can see like many people do it, but it's quite easy to get injury for the joints and shoulders, especially if you work with a big weight. If you work with a small weight, I think it will be no problem with that, but you should be very careful with this exercise, and I'm recommending to do it with a big weight. So we try to make the same walk and prevent any kind of injury. If you have some back problem or like your back tight, for example, you done your back exercises and uh, now you finish it with the shoulders, so probably you can do the same in the sitting position. You can see. So any bodybuilder will say to you, so like walking with the free weights, like bar or dumbbells, it's the best for your muscles, so it makes you stronger because you need to balance them. 
compared to machines, but still you can use machines, but you can use it when your muscles are almost dead. So you cannot take you in small ways, your hand is shaking, you lose your balance and you can lose your dumbbell or whatever, or your bar, so you can go to finish on a machine. But in other cases, it's not really necessary. <clears throat> with a slight weight, you can do the same thing with the front lift, same like with the dumbbells. Only problem here for balancing, because with dumbbells, you can do like lift or right, do it one by one. It's more difficult, so here, you can make a small squat. It's very important for keep your back straight, especially with big weight. But first of all, you need to take a super big weight. And if you feel your back is bending, or it's really not good, it's quite easy for the injury, so try to look up. It's like perfect solution if you feel your back is bending, just look up. Here as well, I don't see any reason for put like higher than 90 degrees, like 90, maybe a bit more. But to put it up here, so if you work with a big weight on your bar, let's say you can get some injury. If light one is no problem, so be careful about it. And still, for get a good pump, you know, need it. If you want, like, meet your muscles really burning, you can pull it up with a small weight and like 20 kilo. So but it's not really necessary. Still you can see like in the gyms what the guys do, but still with this one if you do like four sets it's will be more than enough for you. <coughs> uh, Back part of uh, shoulder with the bar is not really easy to get with dumbbells. Put it on the side, it works really well with the bar. Uh, it works less, but still, same I showed you before. So, of all the exercises you do, you quickly. Pull it up and slowly pull it down. Same for more your upper part, your hinge, and your back part of shoulders. You can use this kind of uncomfortable lift, same way in a high bar. In a high bar, you can do it upside down. Basically, in this exercise, your back part of shoulder work as little, mostly with all upper part of your back. But if you're working, uh, let's say you do your back muscles, and after you decide to finish it with your shoulders, so same group of exercises, and can give you like uh, the same aim. So you work your back, and you take a little bit part of your <laughs> so it's quite enough with the bar, 15, you should ask. So basically, you should do the same. Lifting in the front. It's perfectly good in the front part. I love this exercise. But, um, you can do it in big ways, but some guys take a big kilo and put it up, and after they like the red pills, after someone red up this, so it's really dangerous for getting your shoulder injury. Yeah, if you're working with a big way, you can get a shoulder injury from this exercise. So basically, it's only 
or with the right weight or get some extra pumping. But on my opinion, I just like this exercise maybe because it's giving me great pump, but it's not really necessary to do. If you do some push ups, pull ups, it's like quite enough. Okay, so it's some basic exercises with a bar. If you have bar and dumbbells, it's just great. You can mix it up for one training. You work with the bar and the machine. Another training you work with the dumbbells in the machine. And another training you can uh, make the static exercises. So it makes you need more variety of trainings. And you might get bored in the training because you always do something new. Same with on a static exercise. If it's a light bar, you put it in fold, like 20 30 seconds, depending on how much you can hold it. Same up, you put like I don't know, 40 feet or you try to hold it. Additionally, it's really great exercises for squats when you're balancing, so to make your shoulder very legs stronger, so you can pull it up and then make a squats. Even with a uh, even with a small weight, if you do it first time, it doesn't seem so easy because you need to keep it quick. and balancing and with here straining same here you can put it here put it here or on the side and with here straining we try to make the same exercises like more and more people because you can see any progress so can do the same stuff And in similar exercise, you try to make it more complicated. And you mix it up with other things. So it will give you more ability for growth and make your muscles more stronger. Give you a bigger pump and better shape. So be ready and see you on your stage.